The spring gun with a spring constant of 250 newtons per meter is compressed 5 centimeters. How fast will a 0 0.025 kg dart move when it leaves the gun? So let's take a look at what we know. We're given a value for the spring constant K is 250 newtons per meter. We're given a value for compression. Uh, what we do not know is how fast it will be shot. So I'll make our unknown red. And we're also st stating that the dart has a mass of 0 0.02 K, 0 0.025 kgs. Let's take a moment. Come up and we'll label our given values. K is 250 newtons per meter. The compression is 5 centimeters. Remember, 5 centimeters is 5 times 10 to the negative 2 meters, or 0 0.05 meters, whichever you prefer. And again, the mass is 0 0.025 kgs. We know that there's energy stowed in this spring, and that energy is in the form of elastic potential energy. The formula for elastic potential energy is 1 half k x squared. Now when this spring relaxes, it's been compressed 5 centimeters, we'll lose elastic potential energy and that work is going to be done on that dart and it's going to cause it to speed up. The more work or the more energy that's stowed in the spring, the more mechanical kinetic energy this dart will gain. And we know that Ke is 1 half mv squared. We're going to apply what's called conservation of energy. And we'll know that E will be equal to E prime. We start off with EPE and we end up with Ke. So these will be equivalent to each other. Take a moment and set these equations equal to each other. You could solve for the EPE and then put it in where the KE is, but it's more efficient if we just say the EPE is equal to the KE, and I'm going to write that. The EPE is 1 half K X squared, and that will equal the KE 1 half M V squared. Now something beautiful happens. There's one half on both sides, so that will cancel. And if I rewrite this equation solving for V, we'll divide through by mass. That will cancel. Try it again. That will cancel. And if I rewrite, we'll see that V squared will be equal to K X squared divided by M. Or V I'm just going to rewrite up here, will be equal to the square root of k times x squared divided by m. Now, since this x is under the radical and it's squared, we could pull it out and then we'll rewrite finally. v will be equal to the square root of, let's try that again. Let's undo that. That's better v will be equal to the square root of x squared, which is x times everything under the radical k over m. And now I'm going to put values in. 5 times 10 to the negative 2 times the square root, and I'm sorry, kgs, centimeters. I made a mistake again. That should have been 5 times 10 to the negative 2 meters times the square root of what K is, 250 newtons per meter, divided by the mass, 0 0.025 kgs. And when we do the math, which we can skip for now, we'll just reveal the answer. You can punch it into your calculator. We'll show that the velocity of that dart will be about 5 meters per second. Now let's take a look at the equation and 
and see if we can make sense of this more from a conceptual standpoint. How fast that dart will emerge, the velocity, depends on how far that spring is compressed. The more, the farther that spring is compressed up here, the farther the spring is compressed, the more energy is stored. So we give it more Ke. Next, the greater the value for K, the stiffer the spring, the more energy it stows, the more Ke it would have. And then lastly, let's look at mass. The more mass that this dart has, the harder it is to move. It'll have more inertia. So the more massive it is, when mass goes up, if we're trying to shoot a heavier dart, if you will, a more massive dart, the velocity that it emerges from the, the gun with will, will go down. Nice work.